for those who have successfully uh, built the Omni Wing, let's uh, go on uh, forward with some uh, modifications to the Omni Wing. Uh, we're at this stage here where we were ready to fold the uh, pieces that we cut off from the trailing edge to make our leading edge cover. But we're going to go ahead and set those aside and start from here. Now, before we go there, I'm going to just show you some fun things that uh, you can try also as far as Omni Wing with a lesser no an nose angle and still finish the folding and the twisting and you'll end up with an interesting flying wing. Here's a novel uh, trailing edge cut again on a, a little bit wider nose angle. Uh, be easy, very easy to create something that looks very much like the uh, B-2 bomber. Uh, here's one that's uh, with a sail cut that's reminiscent of the hang gliders from the uh, middle 70s, late 70s. See the roach cut. And here's a very high aspect ratio uh, cut to the wing. Uh, these are a challenge. They uh, can be a little bit unstable, but uh, certainly uh, is fun to uh, try to push the, uh, the envelope of uh, a flight there. Okay, back to our uh, project at hand. We've set aside the pieces that we'd cut off, and I'm going to start with a a brand new fresh sheet of paper to make structural folds. What these structural folds will do is to build up the leading edge, uh, create uh, spanwise strength, and then create a uh, surface, uh, double surface wing to clean it up. The idea being we'll end up with something like this. Uh, I've, I've cut this in two. This is our finished product, what we're going to end up with. And if you look, you can see a very smooth leading edge, and I've cut this open to show you that it, indeed we end up with a pretty dandy looking airfoil there while all at the same time still maintaining that all important twist in the wing. I'm going to make a fold that's about a half inch wide two folds three and four. And I'm just cutting along the even back edge there. And fold this in half to find the halfway mark. And cut it. And this will be added right onto the front of the leading edge. Tape like that. I'm going to show you a little trick here that speeds things up because I don't have a third hand. If I had a third hand it would help because while I'm holding this down my third hand could press that tape down around the leading edge. So what I'm going to do is just use my lips I fold it over, and that just speeds things up. Don't let people see you doing that because it looks kind of silly. They'll think you're weird. And then we're going to tape down the back edge of that structural leading edge member. I haven't applied it yet because what I want to do is apply that twist while I'm applying that uh, tape down. This reinforces that structural strength of the twist. Same to the other side. Get it in place. Do the kiss fold.
start with this paper again. One, two, three, four. And again, you know, there's a lot of fudge factor on this. You can make a lot of variations in, in, on this theme, uh, and it all works, kind of works out. The idea being that if you look at a wing of a bird, it's thicker in the front than at the back. So if we do that, we'll build up the strength while still maintaining the center of gravity and good flight characteristics. This will be kind of a uh, structure to help strengthen the span-wise strength of the wing. Uh, what we'll end up with is a wing that is uh, more than twice the wing loading of uh, the Omni wing. It will fly more than twice as fast with an improved uh, glide ratio. Very good for aerobatics. And also very good in flying outdoor in high wind conditions like I like to do launching them off our local hills and cliffs. And I'm going to take just a little extra piece of paper here. Just kind of start folding it up. Nothing magic. Nothing set in stone here. Just going to. Create a little something on the nose there to build that nose up. It's all going to be uh, covered up. Right now it doesn't matter that it's not pretty. 